Welcome everyone to a new tactics video. My name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you the best way to play with the German club via Leverkusen. All in my opinion of course based on my own playstyle at this moment in FC24. It's the German champions of course they won the Bundesliga and when I'm playing in online seasons I'm facing this team lots and lots of time the last uh, few weeks and that is not without a reason of course. So I thought well let's play with them myself and let's see uh, what else we can do because I made a Bayern Leverkusen video before of course and uh, let's see if it's still working maybe tweak it a bit and yeah I changed a few things and hopefully if you want to try to play with this team and uh, try this tactics then uh, hopefully it will help you to play better with them as well but before I begin I would really like you to ask a favor drop a like into the video it will be really helpful for me and my channel to grow and if you're new to the channel and want to find your way back really easy make sure that you are subscribed with notifications on and if you'd like to buy a jersey or a kit maybe from Bayern Leverkusen then you should definitely check out the website the link is in the description to Gogol's shop because they sell amazingly quality jerseys and it's really, really cheap. Uh, I got a few of them myself, as you can see here, and I'm really happy with the shirts. Uh, it's really good quality and I would not recommend it if I wasn't 100% happy with it. And if you want to order, then make sure that you use discount code MARK for 12% extra off. All right, let's start for Leverkusen. I'm still using the 3142 formation. I tried a few other things, but yeah, this team is made for this formation, I think, because it's working really, really good. You saw the highlights at the beginning, winning 5-0 against Bayer, uh, Bayern Munich, I need to say. And it was in uh, Division 2, so then you know that. And uh, yeah, wonderful result, really, really great match. I played more matches, of course, but I just pick one or two to view the highlights uh, from um then yeah let's start with the lineup now radecki is the goalkeeper of course uh, kusunu tapsoba and hinkapi are the center backs uh, palacios is the most defensive midfielder uh, frimpong on the right side i'm using hoffman and Wirtz as the central midfielders but they are going to play really attacking i'm going to show you that later uh, grimaldo on the left side probably the best players uh, with words in this team. I enjoyed so much playing with these guys. Uh, then we have two strikers, Boni, Faze and Cheek are the strikers. Uh, both are not really fast. I like normally to play with at least one fast striker, but we don't really have a fast striker in this team. Also not a fast winger or something. So we need to do it with these guys. Um, yeah, I'm playing Boniface on the right side, Cheek on the left side because he's left footed and this guy is right footed. Uh, yeah, shooting is good, but yeah, they lack both a bit on pace. And yeah, you need to, uh, to learn play with that maybe if you are not used to that. Uh, what I do sometimes is changing Tela and then put Chic out uh, during the second half. Because Tela, yes, on base, 88 base. So when the opponent is a bit tired, then uh, yeah, you can do this guy making runs forward and yeah, create some space for your uh, for your other players that are going to attack. Because uh, if Boniface or Sheik is going to make runs, that will not uh, impress a lot. Uh, but if you have a fresh player during the second half, like this Stella, 88 pace is enough. He's making the runs, creating space, so it's becoming more easy for you to build up your attacks, in my opinion. Um, so that is one of the subs that I use. The other that uh, is just maybe one of these two guys to replace the other striker if tired. But mostly I only changed Tela, not the other players. I'm not playing with Shaka. Uh, I already know what comments I get because he is 85 rated, really good player, really good at passing and stuff. But for me, he's too slow. 49 pace is really, really slow. Uh, so I used to play, uh, I like to play with Palacios. He's a bit faster. Uh, defending is also a bit better. Uh, high attacking of a high defensive work rate, I need to say. And uh, Shaka has a medium, medium. So that's why Chaka is uh, on the bench for me and I'm not in the starting lineup. But if you want to play with him, feel free to switch, of course. But for me, it's not uh, the most uh, ideal player on that possession. Um, yeah, let's start with the right side. We have Frimpong, of course. Uh, Hoffman, Palacios, Wirtz, midfield, Grimaldo left, uh, Boniface, Sheik. Strikers, I already said that, I think. Uh, let's go to the tactics, defensive style. Pressure on heavy touch with a team width of 45 and a depth of 55. So pretty high on the pitch uh, because we have some fast center backs. Uh, if you have slow center backs, if you are playing with another team and want to try this, 
you need fast center backs if you are playing high on the pitch in my opinion especially also with the pressure on heavy touch if your players are going to press it would be nice if they are fast because if you have slow players and they're going to press that will not impress your <laughs> opponent because the player is coming to you but he is not really fast so you can pass the ball away or something and if you have a player that is fast and a bit aggressive that would be better if you are playing pressure football so it's more easy to uh yeah to put some pressure on your opponent and get the ball back um the builder play i changed it to balanced and chance creation to direct passing i had this on fast build up in my first video i think uh but fast build up i don't know what it is maybe they changed it maybe i'm just not used to it anymore because i'm not playing it that lot um but yeah it was a bit too much especially frimpong and grimaldo were so high on the pitch all the time and also weirds and hoffman were so high on the pitch that if you are building an attack and you are not fast enough then all the players are standing in front waiting for the ball and not doing anything so um, I changed this to balanced and it was easier for me to build up my attack so that's why uh, chance creation is on direct passing the width is 45 plays in the box five bars quarters and free kicks both two bars uh, then we go to the instructions uh, all center backs are default uh, goalkeeper also default uh, Palacios, only thing I change for him is stay back while attacking. Uh, Frimpong is on comeback on the fence and stay wide. Uh, comeback on the fence because we are not playing with a right defender and all else if you are, uh, yeah, need to defend and you don't have a right defender then it's really easy for your opponent to uh, build up his attacks on the left or on the right side. So I want them to go back and I want them to stay wide because we are not playing with wingers, right or left uh, defenders. Uh, this is the only guy on the right side of the field. So I want him to stay there else it would be really crowded on the middle of the field if he's also going uh, to cut inside or something. Uh, Grimaldo is the same, come back on the fence, stay wide. Uh, if you put him on getting behind, they also try that, but Again, they will be really high on the pitch all the time, and that's not always uh, nice uh, if they are there. And they will become really tired after uh, 60, 70 minutes because they are running forward, running back, etc., etc. And they will be really tired. And you don't have really good players to replace them. So that's why also I changed it to uh, balanced. All right, then we're going to Wirtz and Hoffman. Both are on get forward. Uh, if that is a bit too much, sometimes even with these settings, it's hard to build up your attack because Wirtz and Hoffman are already uh, so high in the pitch that they are not available for passing anymore. Uh, if you have that a lot, I had that sometimes, not a lot, uh, then you can change one or maybe two to balanced. But uh, I would not recommend both. Uh, I would recommend to play Hoffman on balanced and Wirtz on get forward because Wirtz, 90 rated player, he's the best player in this team. He is really attacking minded, so you want him to attack because that's where you're good at. He's good at dribbling and uh, yeah, scoring goals, so I want him to go forward. So Hoffman is also a really good player, but not as good as Wirt. So that's why I should recommend to play him on balance. But for me, I put them both on get forward and yeah, he saw the goals. Really amazing, both scored goals, I think. Um, all right, let's go to the strikers. I have one on getting behind. Bony face, uh, I already said it at the beginning of the video, uh, making runs forward, creating space for the other players, but he's not really, really fast. So it's not really impressive is he, if he is going to make a run, but it's for me to create space. So he's taking a center back with him and Hoffman and Weirds are going forward. So yeah, that's the reason for me to uh, pl play with him on getting behind. And she, the other striker, he is just on default. and. If you are replacing uh, Sheik for uh, Tella, as I already said, then you should change or, or the possessions or you should change the instructions. So Tella is going to make the runs on getting behind because he is the fast player, of course. So you want him to do that. All right. This is for me the best way to play with Leverkusen. Uh, let me know in the comments if you tried it out, what you think of it or what your results were. I'm really curious about that. And hopefully we will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.